Hello Grade 5 and 6 boys and girls. Welcome to our Writer's Workshop for our Literacy Lesson today. I'm your teacher, Ms. Shamshidin, and we're going to be going through a few tips and guidelines for improving our handwriting, after which we're going to be doing some practical writing. The famous Martin Luther King encouraged us by saying, if you want to change the world, pick up your pen and write. Now handwriting is writing done with a writing instrument such as a pen or a pencil held with the hand. Handwriting can be done both in printing or script or it can be done in cursive style. You must know that each person's handwriting is unique and different. Handwriting in which successive letters are joined is called cursive. Handwriting in which the letters are separated is called manuscript style or printing, but we call it writing in script. Now for us to develop good writing skills or penmanship, there are three basic elements we must examine. We must look at good letter formation. And that has to do with how we write the letters. We must also have knowledge of good position of the fingers, the hand, the wrist, the arms, and that is when it comes to using the pen or the pencil, which is the writing instrument. We also must master the correct movement of the fingers, hand, wrist, and arm. So why is handwriting so important? because I'm sure you're saying, I already know to write. Now, by practicing handwriting, we engage the brain differently. This is very different to when you're typing using a keyboard or on a touch screen. There are many studies that show handwriting helps to improve your memory. So the more you write, the more you remember. Now, how else can we remember other than to ensure that we could understand what we write? So, that's one importance of practicing good handwriting. It is also important because learning the alphabet by interacting with each letter in many different physical ways helps you to imprint and retain the letters and the letter sounds for easier recall when learning to read. So, as you write those letters and you see them, you are able to remember what it looks like, remember the name of the letter, and you will also think about the sound the letter makes. Handwriting can help you to slow down and fully engage with your thought. Remember, whatever you are writing, it must make sense. So you have to think about what you want to write. So when you're writing, you have to think before you write. So that's a thought process that goes into handwriting. Handwriting is unique to each individual writer. I would have said that before. Unlike typing, all the documents look the same. One's handwriting style, especially if you're doing your signature, is a public and permanent statement. Learning to write well can help you make that statement strong, beautiful, and perhaps more importantly, legible. So you see why handwriting is important? Whoever is reading what you would have written must be able to understand. Now being able to write effortlessly enables the mind to focus more fully on the topic. So if you're struggling with handwriting, struggling with being able to write clearly, your brain energy is used up thinking how you can make sure that the person is able to understand what you're writing. So if you take the time to practice and develop your handwriting skills, you will be able to allow your brain to focus more on what you're writing about. Now, how can we improve our handwriting? There are many ways. Let's look at a few. 
jotting down a shopping list, writing a simple birthday card, taking down a phone message, completing a form at an office, maybe a bank or something that your parents may bring to the house, you can practice. Handwriting is part of our daily lives. It is on show to others and may be used to make judgment also about us. So your handwriting must reflect the true person that you are. Now, let's take a look closer at manuscript style of writing and cursive style of writing so that you see the differentiation. As I said, in the cursive style, the letters are joined. They come successively, one after the other, they're joined together. In the script writing, you see that they are separated. Now, in another lesson, we look more at cursive writing. But for this lesson, we want to focus on script writing, or as it is called, manuscript. Now, here I have the alphabet for you. These letters are written in lowercase. Remember, the letters can either be lowercase or uppercase. So have a look. These are the lowercase letters of the alphabet. The next slide, you will see the letters written in uppercase, or you simply say capital letter. Here I have for you some guidelines to help you develop neat handwriting in script. Spacing. Spacing between letters should be consistent and spacing between words should also match up. So there must never be too much space between your letters if you're spelling a word or must there be too little spacing between the letters. So the spacing you use must be consistent when you're forming your letters. Let's talk a little about slant. What do I mean by slant? Remember, everyone has a different style of writing. Does the slant of your letters match or is it all over the place? If you're tilting left, everything must tilt left. Not some tilting left and some tilting right. That's what I mean when I talk about slant. Then we have the style. Are your letters formed the same? Or does your style go all over the place? Do you write your A's this way now and then when you use it in another word, you write it a different style? The height of your letters. The height of the lowercase letters should match except for letters like B, D, L, and H, which has that extra formation going upwards consistent baseline for letters. What do I mean by consistent baseline? Do your letters and your words line up on the bottom or does it bounce around and go all astray? You must ensure that your words stop at the same place on the line. Now I know that you grade five and six and you don't normally use the double line books anymore to write. So you have the single line books but it also has a line. So you try to make sure that your letters all form on that line. Closing counters. When rushing, you may want to leave your O's and similar letters open. Please be careful. Make sure that you close those letters that have that closing to be made. And finally, dot your I's and cross your T's. This is very important because your I will not be an I without the dot. And your T will not be a T without that cross. So dot your I's and cross your T's. Now let's get busy with our practice activity. In this activity, we are going to be writing a few simple sentences. Those sentences will include our name, our country, and something else that we like to do. So I will show you the chart again of both lowercase and uppercase letters. 
look for the letters that you will need to use and make sure you practice the formation as we write those sentences. Please pay attention and follow as I demonstrate how I write. Also, you need to remember those special rules when it comes to using capital letters. So think carefully before you write your own when I ask you to. Understand which words are written in lowercase letters and which needs to have uppercase letters. Make sure you hold your pencil properly. Let's get started. Okay, boys and girls, for our practical activity, I will just be demonstrating to you how we could formulate letters and words in script. So, as I said before, and as you had seen before, what the lowercase letters look like and what the uppercase letters look like. Remember, that there are some special rules for using these letters in either uppercase or lowercase. So think carefully before you write so that you understand which letters and when you should use the uppercase or the lowercase letters. Make sure you hold your pencil properly as I will demonstrate with this marker because I'm using the whiteboard. So. The first thing I'm going to do is to write my name. So the first letter of my name is D. So I have to use a capital D or an uppercase D. Did you see how I wrote my D? I will continue. The next letter is O. So I have to now use a lowercase o. Then n. Remember, as we write, I said we need to ensure that the letters have the same height. That was one of the points we discussed in the tip. Then we have e, l, l. And the last letter in my name is A. So there you have, that's my name in script writing. Now, which country are we living in? We are living in Guyana. Now, I will use the word Guyana because you have letters in the word Guyana that will go below the line. Remember, one of our important tip also is to be consistent with the baseline. All your letters should be touching the line. So we are going to be writing the word Guyana, but I sure do want you to pay attention to those letters that will not just stop on the baseline. Okay, now we will write the word Guyana. And the first letter in that word is G. Guyana is a proper noun, so we have to use a uppercase G to start. So we have G, U, Y. Now let's stop there and look at the Y, and you will see that the hook comes below the baseline. But the curve of the Y here sits on the baseline. A, N, A, Guyana. Now if you look, you will see that all of the letters carry the same height. And this was one of the tips we discussed when writing in script. Now we will try to write a simple sentence in script so that you could focus on the tip of spacing between the words. Remember, it is important to notice and to maintain consistent spacing between the letters in the words. But when we're putting words now to make a sentence, 
it is also important not to have all the words jumbled together. So let's try a very simple sentence. And the sentence we're going to write is, my name is, and whatever your name is, you could practice writing that. So let's begin. Because the word my is the first word of the sentence, we must begin it with a capital letter. Okay, boys and girls, so here you have it. Remember, as I said, when you are writing, there are some letters that you need to pay attention to. For example, the I's and the T's. And if you look in my sentence, there is a word with the letter I. So I had to make sure that I dotted my I. So you also need to look carefully at the way I wrote on my lines. All of my letters falling on the baseline. If you look carefully, you would see that I tried to maintain the same amount of spacing between the words in the sentence that I wrote. Well, remember to pay attention to these small details that can help you to ensure that you have neat, legible handwriting so that someone who is reading your work would be able to understand everything that you have written. This is important for you, especially that you are closely approaching your national grade six examination. Let's go over a few things that we need to pay attention to when we are focusing on our handwriting. We need to pay attention to the spacing between the letters. It should be consistent. We also need to pay attention to the spacing between the words. They must always match up. Ensure that the slant of your letters match, whether you are tilting to the left or you're tilting to the right. The height of your letters is also very important. Ensure that when you're writing your letters that they maintain the same height at the top. Try to let your words line up on the baseline, which is the line you would be writing on in your workbooks. And make sure you close all those letters that need to be closed. For example, your O's, your P's, and your Q's. And don't forget to dot your I's and cross your T's. Okay, boys and girls, that's all for our lesson today on script writing. Remember, penmanship is very, very important. And the only way that we could get better and master this skill is by practicing. So remember to take every opportunity to get better in writing neatly and legibly so that you could indeed be proud of your work. Before I leave, I'll tell you once again what Martin Luther King said some time ago. If you want to change the world, pick up your pen and write. Once again, this is Ms. Shamshidin saying, see you next time.